26, 50, 75, 100 game win streak. Yes, I went on the first 2v2 100 game win streak on 2K25. Not only that, but I did it on a 6 6 ISO build while only using rhythm shooting. And let me tell you what, this streak was packed with intense moments. So strap your seatbelts, hit that subscribe button, and let's run it up. What in the world? What was that? Hey, this Hell no. No way, right? Yo, no. what? What? Hey, Biggie. I'm not looking for you. Hey, double A lot. I ain't gonna lie. Hunter game gain win streak. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger. And hey, man, today's video is something special. Now, before we do get into the actual win streak. I'm going to answer some commonly asked questions that are going to be in the comments since we did go on a 100 game win streak. Number one being, how long did this streak take? This streak for me started around 5.30 p.m. and ended at 2.30 a.m., meaning this streak lasted about nine hours. Now, this is the build right here that I was on, my 6-6 ISO build. This is the exact same build I made day one of the game. It's the only build I have on 2K25 up to this point. And it's funny because people were telling me in my first stream of 2K25 when I was making this build live that this build was trash. Well, you know, I'm going crazy with this build, to say the least. Not only that, this was my a shooting center's teammate's build. He was on a 6-7 power forward. And it's funny because my original teammate on 2K25 day one made this build and my whole chat was saying that he was trolling make a, a six seven power forward once again this is a very good build in 2k25 and comparing this win streak to some previous win streaks i have been on in my 2k career my highest 1v1 win streak is a 129 game win streak on the 1v1 court in 2k20 my highest 3v3 win streak is a 126 game on 2k24 both of those being the highest recorded win streaks on those courts in 2k history now when it comes to the 2v2 court i have never been on a 100 game i went on a 63 game win streak on the 5000 vc court in 2k20 a 70 game win streak on 2k21 next gen which is actually the highest 2v2 streak in 2k21 next gen an 88 game win streak on my first day on playstation on 2k22 and then a 71 game win streak on 2k24 so despite me being a 2v2 player mainly i haven't been able to crack that 100 game now a lot of you are probably asking how much rep i got throughout this win streak now i started around like 44 percent maybe 50 percent on my starter two to three bar and i ended at 93 percent to starter three now you're probably wondering how much vc i made from this win streak now considering you only get like 300 maybe 330 vc per park game i made around 31,000 vc playing this streak it would have been a lot more if it was in like stage or something but then again i was buying boost and gatorade sometimes throughout a lot of these games so it was probably even less than 31k if you really include that now i'm going to show my record and my teammate and i's shooting percentage after the win streak as well but let me explain how this streak started so at first i was actually streaking up with my boy jay curry it was a sunday i was trying to watch some nfl games while also grinding you know to starter three because i really hadn't been playing the last couple days because i am sick so me and jay curry got on the court and we are actually on the randoms court and we ended up going on like a 35 game win streak now he had to go get his hair retwisted so he was like okay i'm gonna head off let's hop up the court you're gonna have to find a new teammate or something because i'm gonna head off so i was like okay bet so we ended up hopping off that win streak and literally as soon as i hopped off i tweeted out for a teammate this is why you should be following me on twitter and my boy repectual responded to me i've played with him in the past so i picked him up because it was someone i recognized and obviously i'd rather play with somebody i've played with before than playing with someone i've never played with before so i immediately invited him to the exact park i was in that i went on that 35 game win streak and I headed over to the twos court right next to that no squads court and hopped on the spot. So technically, if you include that 35 game, this streak was a lot higher. But personally, 
I would never include that. I think win streaks only count if they're in one sitting on the court. They have to be showing on the court. So I wouldn't count that, but that is just something to point out. And honestly, I was not expecting or intending going on a long win streak when I hopped on the spot right here. I was literally just trying to grind a starter three while continuing to watch some NFL games throughout the entire day and night. So anyways, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into this win streak because we have a lot of intense full games to show and of course, a lot of crazy moments throughout. It is now time to get into the gameplay of this 100 game win streak. Boy, are y'all in for a good one now. Like I mentioned earlier, me and my teammate were not communicating in a single game this whole streak. So no matter what game you're watching throughout this entire video, we were not communicating, okay? That's number one. Number two, we're starting this gameplay at the 25 streak mark, 26 streak mark, because like I said in the intro, and by the way, you can see it's 7 p.m. at this point, but like I said in the intro, I did not expect to hop on this court and go on a win streak, right? So I wasn't recording. So when I got to 25 games, I was like, you know what? I may as well start recording just to be safe. And thank God I did. But anyways, we're going to be showing at least one or two clips from every single game of the whole streak. And then we're going to be going into full gameplays of close games or games against better, you know, skilled players. Okay, but look at me. I'm getting takeover like every game. I'm shooting from super deep. Y'all saw the build in the beginning of the video. Look at, bro, I'm shooting crazy on 2K25, by the way. I am using the stick to shoot. That's what rhythm shooting is. We have a video on the channel explaining how to do that. It does give you a bigger green window than using uh, the button. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you're going to see in the gameplay in this video how good I am at shooting compared to a lot of these people that are struggling to shoot in 2K25. Once again, the next game, I get level 5 takeover. Like, it's rare getting level 5 takeover. Like, you don't get this every game. And I'm over here every game at this point in the street getting it. I'm shooting from deep going crazy and right now we are on a 27 game win streak and you can see the park is showing how many people are near the twos there are people on the threes but when you go up on the d-pad on um, when you're on the twos it only shows the number of people that are around the twos court and this year for whatever reason by the way you can see we're in a close game right here it's 12 to 13 we're in a little close game okay perpetual misses open we're only up by one i'm driving to the basket Get the easy dunk. By the way, you can see we do have the fireball. You unlock the fireball once you are on a 10 game win streak or higher. And we've been on that for a minute now, right? But look at, I'm rhythm, rhythm shooting right over that dude. Going crazy. And take make sure to take a look at the, the stats after every game and see how well I am shooting. I'm not going to be hiding any of those percentages in this video. But look at this kid reacting to this move right here I did on him. What in the world? Huh? What was that? Now you see right there, I did the little 720 spin shooting over him. We're gonna have a lot of different game chat reactions throughout the video as well. You see, we're playing a gold plate right here. And something else to note in this video is that Park is skill-based matchmaking this year. So the parks die out a lot faster. Not only that, bro, I have like 81,000 followers on Xbox. Every 2K, people spam join my parks, crowd around the court, and I get back-to-back -back games like it's nothing with a crowd around the court every time I appear online. But this year, it doesn't let people join off my name on Xbox. They have to actually send like a request, and then you have to accept it, and no one even bothers doing that because they don't even know how that works. And basically, it's just a lot harder to get consistent games on 2K25 due to it being skill-based matchmaking, even if you're a big YouTuber like myself. So you're going to see how that affects this win streak later on in this uh, video. And you're going to see that I'm going to end up having to go live at some point to continue to get games. But as you can see, my center is shooting with button. I am shooting with the stick, though. Rhythm shooting every single shot. And if for whatever reason, if you're looking at the bottom left and one of the shots doesn't pop up as rhythm shooting is because sometimes there is a bug where the right stick, like it doesn't like, I don't know. It doesn't like register that I'm actually shooting with the right stick. So it just glitches. But 99% of the time, you're going to see the tempo timing and the push timing. But look at me, takeover. Bro, this is deep bomber takeover. We're going crazy. He's jumping at me repeatedly. Get him off the court. And bro, we're at the 33 game win streak mark right now. We've only showed like six games so far. Dude, I've had takeover level five takeover almost every game these dudes keep coming around we beat them again 34 game win streak once again they're coming around again like so, so we don't have a crowd so 
if someone does want to come around it's very it's a lot easier for them to do so this year and you're gonna see a lot of sweats doing the same thing but look at this dude just spamming square x whatever he's trying to get this steal i'm just messing around with him we're up 19 to 0 once again i have level 5 takeover dude i'm getting it like every single game i end up missing that shot right there though because i just over dribbled but 19 to 5 we need to stop or Pectual gets the steal hits it out to me rhythm shooter get him out of here man and that is now a 35 game win streak once again keep looking at the shooting percentages am i gonna shoot 100 percent from three every single game because i'm rhythm shooting no but i'm gonna shoot very good now this was our first big comp game since the 26 mark we're playing two gold tiers this dude has a 96 dunk so he probably had plus one that he probably has legend posterizer on this build right here which is pretty crazy he's a 6-4 build and getting into the start of the game when we were playing comp games i'm not going to do any over dribbling right i'm not going to do a bunch of different dribble moves i like to keep it simple i'll if they're going to leave me open i'm going to shoot it every single time i don't care how many times i green in a row i'm going to keep shooting i'm also going to take my twos when they're there as well especially when i'm playing small guards where we need to take advantage of their interior like wow this nigga went right past me but you're gonna hear this dude's game this reaction in game chat a lot he was complaining about his defense he was complaining about a lot in this game right here just teleported to the ball <laughs> and i miss it like bro what is this now he's also complaining about me spamming the same move in a second here but it's like bro you have a 25 interior i'm gonna take advantage of that so you're just gonna spam that every time bro like what is this it's this money I don't know why he said he'd be ashamed if he was the big like he's just spotting up I'm isoing I mean he's getting the ball he's scoring you're to see him scoring a good amount in this video as well the way this nigga scoring is making me mad bro that's a horrible shot <laughs> he's using a whistle face nice now i mistimed it right there every time i do miss with rhythm by the way i do feel like i am mistiming it like i can feel it so as soon as the shot goes up i know it's whether it's a miss or make uh just like in like other 2ks a lot of people don't feel like that is the case with a button which i could agree with and that's why i'm using rhythm shooting because it gives me a bigger green window but you heard the center in game chat he literally said on god that rhythm shooting is not it so y'all let me know by the end of this video by the way we almost just green that crazy tight we end up greening a lot of heavies later in the video so make sure to stay tuned but we give up the ball up 13 to 0 he hits a corner three but make sure to stay tuned in this video and you let me know in the comments after watching me play with rhythm shooting you let me know if rhythm shooting is it okay now obviously rhythm shooting is not going to be easy for everybody to learn but i'm learning it pretty well i don't think i have it completely mastered but i'm pretty good with it enough to shoot with it every shot now their center shooting wide open in the corner every play i don't know why repectual was like dropping a lot on those because i had the guard clamp like look at me on defense on the guard he's not getting anywhere like i had him completely boxed he could not get anywhere the center gets open again he finally misses we get the rebound and now we get the ball back and we're still up 13 to 8 right so i try to drive on the center he's playing good defense right there kicks it back out to me i probably could have shot that i don't know what that point guard's perimeter defense is but he is a 6-4 i am a 6-6 i probably could have just shot over him I try to dot my teammate probably would have been a dot but for whatever reason it just goes off his body without him clicking a button anyways we go right to the basket little easy scoop lay with the shot clock running low 15 a i hit repectual on the back door now we're up 17 to 8. it's looking pretty good we just need two baskets no matter if it is a three or a two he's playing me kind of low i go out with the zach levine step back rhythm shooter and honestly i was mistiming a lot of my rhythm shooting shots like you see right there very early push timing i don't know this game specifically i was just not timing my rhythm shots right you see what happens you're gonna see the power of rhythm shooting when i do start timing it right in these other competitive games but their center's going off right now i mean he has nearly all their points 17 to 11 i'm clamping this guard like i said like look at this dude when he wants the three that's clamped when he drives that's clamped too and look at his reaction to this play He's taking out my animation, bro. Every time. And, and that's because I'm playing good defense. Not only that, it's because my build has the stats to do that. This guy I'm playing against has a 25 interior. Of course, he's not going to be doing that. I have a 60 interior. I have a 74 block. 
Not only that, by the way, we just clamped them for a shot clock violation right there. But I also put a plus one on paint patroller. So I have silver paint patroller and it's a tier two badge. So that's a very nice badge to get on a six, six perpetual open for three. He knocks it down. I have take level five takeover again. I mean, I don't know how I was getting this so consistently at the beginning of this streak. I shoot a crazy shot from deep right there. I'm confident we're going to win regardless. Why not catch a shoot? You already know what color. Hey, they're saying they getting off. They've had enough of this. So, hey, bye-bye to them. 36 game win streak right now. And I'm playing this Pistons mask right here. I shoot over his face with rhythm shooting and takeover over both of the teammates. Look what he has to say in game chat after losing. Yo, that dude was actually genuinely mad. I don't think I've ever seen someone, at least so far this year, that has been that mad after losing a 2K25 game. He was not happy about initially leaving me open and I was still making my rhythm shots unlike some of these other people. And then both of his teammates guard me and they, I'm still shooting over them. Anyways, 38 game win streak. We're getting to our first post lockdown opponents of the video. This dude's on a 6-6 lock. Look at 94 steel, 94 perimeter, 88 agility, 87 dunk. His name is Guard Twos. Remember that gamer tag, okay? He's playing with a seven foot post score who has a 99 close shot. And yeah, we already have post locks po pulling up on the win streak at this point in the video. And it will certainly not be the last post lock lineup you will see me go against in this video. We play a lot of them. And what I'm gonna say as we're watching this gameplay right here is Repectual makes the open mid range fadeaway is that personally, I think this lineup sucks in 2K25 twos. I know, you know, you see we shoot with the rhythm shooting, going crazy, cooking up that lock. But you're going to see, I'll explain more why I think the post-lockdown lineup is not good on twos right, right now, at least, 2K25. I've never lost to a post-lock on the twos so far. We'll see if I lose to one in this video. 7-0, to zero, I'm cooking the lockdown right now. Right now, his one job is to literally get a stop to the post score gets the ball. It's his only job on the court right now. Repectual misses a wide-open three-pointer. And they end up getting the ball, right? So they have the ball. We went on a 7-0 start. I leave their lock wide up in the corner, and he greens his first shot, okay? So we'll take it, right? 7-3. and three. And now, Repectual, I didn't have communication with him, but he didn't know how to guard the post scores at first. But I do leave the lock open, and he ends up missing. The Repectual throws a bad pass right back to him. He cannot be that careless with the ball against this lineup. And look at that post score. He just standing dunks over the both of us who both have good defensive stats i mean i don't have as good as defensive stats as my teammate to guard that but i have you know decent stats for that right anyways corner three bang so now that dude is like two for three from three eight to seven we're fouling and basically what i wanted repectual to do as i get a steal right there in the lane but i, th I throw it right back like me and repectual being hella careless with the ball he kicks it to the corner right there we have box out and he misses Thank God we are not playing good defense. There is a very good method to beat this post lock lineup that we were not using right here because I would have told Repectual how to do it. But once again, we're not communicating. I get a little blow by animation right there, take the dunk, and we have regained the lead. So now it's nine to eight. Once again, this guy has a high agility, high prim, high steel. It's not a very easy build to score on, but we're trying our best, right? He's bumping me. I have super low stamina. I only have two adrenaline. I'm trying to get to the basket. Forced up this little layup, ends up being open. Thank God he didn't jump. 11 8, but he gets another steal. So even with one less adrenaline because he was reaching, he ends up getting the blitz steal. It was a good steal. And you can see I haven't missed a shot yet. I haven't missed a shot. And it's 11 to 10. All I have is turnovers. I'm playing good D. I'm leaving my corner wide open though. And he misses again. Thank God. That was, it's clutch that that lockdown was not a consistent shooter. I hit Repectual wide open though. And now he has missed two wide open threes this game. Not the game to do it again. In 11 to 10, I completely doubled the post. I ended up fouling. Pretty good foul right there because I don't think the lock was going to miss the next shot. Uh, we're, I'm trying to make it difficult for them to pass back and forth. Once again, Repectual is not pressing the post score, which is something he should be doing instead of just letting him back down immediately and setting paint. 
He jumps right there, gives up a layup, 12 to 11. And you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about, the best method to guard this post lock lineup later in the video, because we end up doing it, because I ended up messaging him on Twitter what to do uh, after this game, after watching this, because this is not good defense. You should not just allow a post score to back you down and sit paint, right? So I bait him to pass it out. He wastes time with that. Now there's only two seconds left. They're not gonna get a shot up. They force it to lock. I'm right there. Repectual, thankfully, has the box out, and I'm just holding the ball, bro. I have low stamina. I'm trying to be patient with it. I hit Repectual. He shoots his third three of the game, and this time he finally hits it. Thank God he made that shot right there. I guess one of those threes he shot earlier counted as a midi two, so it only shows he's one for two from there. This dude's still reaching. I don't blame him either. He has like a 94 steal, probably a plus one on glove, and I bail out of a pass, and it hits the post court in the back, and then he hits the three. So that is not good. So once again, I still haven't missed a shot in this game. I haven't missed a shot. I just have a bunch of turnovers, bad turnovers. We are down 15 to 14. We are on a 38 game win streak. We gotta get a stop. Repectual, good hands up defense. He's the post score gets a bad animation. We get the stop. Light pressure contest. He misses that layup. I doubt Repectual in the corner. He hits a second three pointer in a row. And now we have regained the lead once again, 17 to 15. We're looking good. This lockdown hasn't really been able to guard me outside of the steals. I'm feeling confident in scoring. Regaining possession here is good. 17 to 15. I have two adrenaline and he plucks me. Bro, plucks are not even that common in this game. But he has a 94 steal. So he gets it. So now we need another stop. I mean, how many stops have we gotten on this lineup? I'm just leaving the lockdown completely. I'm like, no, we're just going to completely double team. Screw that lockdown. He shoots a wide open three. He misses. Perpetual doesn't have the box out, but he gets a clutch block. That was a huge block. He backs up for three, hits it, and hey, he missed the first two in a row, but now he just made a couple three-pointers in a row. That's huge. He, they're purposely leaving me open for three for game. I'm like, bro, I'll easily take that. So I didn't miss a shot that game, but our five turnovers really cost us and almost ended the streak, but not this time as we move on to a 39-game win streak. Going into the next game, though, we got another comp game. We are playing a red tier here. If you guys don't know what the red plaques mean, it basically means like a goat tier from last year, the purple plaques. Basically means they are very good. They have a high win percent on that build. But look at me with the rhythm shooting step back. I'm shooting good this game. Another 100% game for me. That moves us on to a 40-game win streak as these gold tiers are pulling up. And yeah, I mean, well, you're going to see a lot of post lockdowns pull up later in this video. And basically, the method is, I'll tell, just tell you guys right now, you see me doing that 2K20 behind the back going crazy. Hey, the dribble tutorial is on the channel. Yeah, you, ready to drop you see this dude coming in the game chat saying, are you ready to get dropped off or what? Well, he lost. Uh, so we're on the 42 game win streak. Anyways, the post lock lineup. Uh, yeah, so basically, you want to pressure the post score. You don't want him to, you want to full court press him. You want to foul under 14 seconds. So it resets the 14 and then full court press him. And with the right defense, the right bumps, he won't even get a shot up, right? So that's really the method that you're going to see us using later in the video. These guys are pulling up again after saying a couple times that they are going to eat us. Um, yeah, it's not working out for them. 44 game win streak. These two gold tiers end up pulling up again. And look at the reaction to me uh, shooting over them with rhythm shooting right here, okay? Hell no. No way, right? Yo, no. what? What? <laughs> oh my god. You. That's so yeah. stiff. Oh my. I mean, bro, I am shooting reds over these people with the rhythm shooting once again. They're pulling up again. We are getting super close to that 50 game win streak. 21 0. Guys, these are gold tiers repeatedly pulling up, not being able to beat this. Then this guy, I mean, I don't think this guy's good at all. I don't even think his his, play, his plaque is good either. But he was talking crazy. He can't beat us. Okay. 47 game win streak. And at this point, the park is decide, you know, dying out just a little bit. But it's not bad enough to be any worried, right? You know, hopefully more people load in, whatever. 40 game wins or 48 game win streak. We're playing two gold plaques right here. This dude is on a six foot three build. And his stats are looking pretty good on that build. I'm not gonna lie. But we end up going up 20 to zero. Repectual misses a shot right there. I get the offensive rebound. I hit him back. 
two for a dollar from the mid range. Get us out of here. 49 game win streak. And go ahead and take a listen to game chat right here. No way. No way. God. I mean, it's the same guy. I shot a red over him. Now I'm shooting a yellow over him. Uh, he he he's done. He don't want to. He don't want to see that rhythm shooting. Okay, he he's done. Had enough of that. But that is a 50 game win streak. I shot 100 percent from three that game. But I guess he's not done. He's pulling up again. A lot of come arounds in this video. I mean, this guy's a gold tier, and he just keeps playing me, and he keeps losing. I don't know why he's continuing to play us. I don't know if he he want. I mean, the other thing is we are on a 51 game, so you're gonna see a lot of people really eating to try to beat our win streak as we get into the third full game of the video we're playing a red tier right here he has a 94 dunk 90 vertical 90 standing 84 mid-range guys they're running a 610 and a 611 lineup i mean this is not your average lineup on the twos court right first play though oh my god to the floor he goes into the rhythm shot wow it is not looking good for this 6'10 build as we put him on his ass on the first play with that ankle breaker. Get into a couple dunks now. Yo, that is a bad look on the first play. Step back, rhythm shot. That's green. And so far, we have all 10 points and we have not missed a shot. Getting to the crossover, getting to the dunk meter, which I didn't use too often in this win streak, despite having an 89 driving dunk and gold post riser. He jumps at that. I mean, where is this dude going? They double team me. I hit my teammate in the corner. 15 to zero, y'all. This is a perfect game right now by me and Repexual. I have 12 points. You know, he's not stealing the ball from me. I know he's not. He's on a 6'10 build. His steal rating is not that high. Repexual ends up messing up the perfect shooting game right there. It's all good, though. He misses wide open. And this 6'10 is posting me up. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, you're, he's not a post score. He's not just going to post me up and think that's going to work. I got interior. I got, you know, a block. I got paint patroller, but we leave their teammate over open. I end up getting the lane steal, though. We get the ball right back just like that. So 17 to three. I'm throwing it at his face, and this dude just doesn't know how to click a button. Doesn't matter. He's not getting in no lanes. 17 to three. We're stunning the defender. And oh my God, this spin back to the three. Who am I feeling like going back to the basket to the dunk meter? This dude is lost on defense y'all neither of them can guard me 19 to 3 to the dunk meter i go and we just dropped what 18 points on them and i didn't miss a single shot 52 game win streak y'all these gold tiers are pulling up again you see my averages i'm averaging around 13 points per game with this build on the uh two's court right now and we're just continuing the cook up i mean oh my god another red over him i mean god damn rhythm shooting is going crazy i mean 53 game win streak we got some other win streaks sparking up on the other two scores and guys these guys are back i mean now this guy's a bronze tier he's losing to me so much he's a bronze tier now i mean god damn you're deranking and everything bro chill stop coming around eventually I feel like 2k might give him a win but anyways you see we're waiting for a lot of games right here it was like a little 10 minute span not getting the game but heading into the fourth comp game of the video or full game we're showing i might have to say because we are blowing out a lot of teams and just not showing the full game anyways we did play these guys earlier two gold tiers i didn't show the game though so now we're going to show this one now once again he's the guy with a high midi high three high steal but he's six three right so we're on the ice so we're up two to zero and he blocks my layup after jumping a little early though ends up getting the good animation regardless and look at he's he's playing great defense i mean he's got me boxed right now i have no adrenaline no stamina the center is playing great defense too hugs repectual in the corner he has to shoot some crazy shot obviously doesn't hit that and now we already gave the ball up at two to zero and this dude's moving super fast around the screens with zach levine step back and he hits his first three and i'm like okay okay we're gonna have to play some defense here setting the screen gets to the midi off this second shot which is actually kind of smart to maybe reset that algo with a button up behind the three-point line so it's five to two 
step back or behind the back misses behind the screen but we don't get the rebound and second chance opportunities on the twos court are very important like it's it's a big disadvantage if you're not if you're giving up offensive rebounds but we make a miss the midi fade so now it's five to two we got the ball back actual not shooting that open three almost shot a fade away and almost turned it over i mean i don't even know how i caught that without turning it over and now i have no stand we're just in a bad position right now five seconds on the clock perpetual misses that layup kicks it out to me because the other dude's kind of cherry picking on the twos i'm not missing an open catch to shoot with rhythm shooting okay come on uh, that's like an i'm making that like 98 percent of the time anyways five to five he's pressing me super high and i know he has low interior so i'm like bro i'm gonna take my two if he's gonna completely cut off my three-pointer which is fine then guess what oh we're gonna miss a wide open uh, dunk meter okay you can see my teammate he just assumed i made the dunk i mean he was even sitting in the corner for a little extra time probably looking at something else i don't blame him either how did i miss that i didn't by the way i know it said very early but i timed it right so it just gave me no green window though even though you can't really see the green window but trust me i know i timed it okay and it didn't go in i think it counted as a maybe a standing dunk meter because i was too close to the basket anyways we get the steal we get it right back and repectual missing open again right there it is seven to seven and we're giving up the ball a lot against this team right now not good too considering this guard is really fast and if you guys didn't peep my build earlier in the video I only have a 76 agility. I mean, I have an 85 prim. That's not anything crazy. I think I have like silver pick dodger. So it's not like I'm really built to chase these fast guards around these screens too much. I mean, I'm doing a good job of it right now. You see, we leave the center open for the pop and he misses seven to seven. Little low stam to start this possession. I hate having low stams to start possessions after playing good defense, but trying to just read the wow uh trying to read the defense and we get plucked wow so we get plucked he does have a high steal runs around the sh screen doesn't make that i get great defense right there i don't know what's going on this guard made his first two shots now he literally cannot hit a shot uh the center went up with a crazy take right there he's fouling he's reaching a lot and i do understand he has like a 93 something steal but god damn he is really depending on that reach He's playing great defense right here on this possession, though, without reaching. Three seconds, two seconds. Repectual, the fadeaway mini misses again. So, honestly, me and Repectual are just having both terrible games right now. I'm not really getting to my spots well, but we are playing good defense. Repectual is not really making his open shots, but these guys are struggling too, despite them having the lead. Nine to seven, shoots another fadeaway mini, and finally he greens a shot. He was definitely due for one right there. Step back. I'm bumping him. I'm playing great D. They hit the pop. I don't know why Repectual is even wide open right there because I had the guard box, but it ends up paying off. You know, I guess you can leave some people open in 2K25 with how some people are struggling. And what am I doing? What am I doing? That's just, that's on me. I can't be doing that dribble move right into him. Like that's going to be a steal every time. So he gets the steal. Thank God he's missing around these screens. 13 to seven. I get the ball in the catch and shoot a little deep, but that's nothing rhythm shooting can't handle. Come on now 10 to 13 we gotta get a little run going we're you know he's reaching he's gambling let me take the two we're not scoring enough in bunches when we do get a stop we gotta score a big amount of points here without giving up the ball maybe even get to 21 we get to the dunk neither though and we do get the contact dunk on him he is 6'3 he does have a low interior so we might have to go to that a little more this game get another open dunk right there so now it is 16 to 13 we still got ball we're being patient with it. No more turnovers. The last, you know, full games we've been showing, I've been getting a lot of turnovers. You see, I'm already down to one adrenaline as he pulled me into the paint. But rhythm shooting, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm not making that shot with the button. I promise you I'm not. Not with one adrenaline. Not while tired. But look at this dude plucks me again. How many times is he going to steal the ball from me? It feels like 2K24 all over again for me. And it does not help that repectual is one for five but look at me getting another steal i'm just playing great defense out here at the end of the day we end up getting the win moving our win streak to 55 games but look at this now both the twos courts are empty you saw the threes back there i'm trying to accept some requests of people trying to join the game we're waiting for games for minutes on end 
this park is completely die even though just five to ten games ago the park was completely filled and that's the really bad thing about these skill-based matchmaking parks is they die they die out very quickly 56 game win streak and i'm honestly concerned but we're getting into the next competitive game and we are playing two red plaques and this guy has a very well-rounded 6-8 iso build averaging 15 points per game so you already know we're back to the iso but he's 6-8 so he's actually taller than me and y'all know what happened the last time someone taller than me pulled up that 6-10 it wasn't looking too good for him we went perfect on him but right now we're driving with ease right now we're getting to our standing dunks regardless of him being taller than us four to zero right now I'm thinking he's gonna leave me open and oh my god can I get an A1 rhythm shooting right over him Repectual hits at three and now it's 10 to 0 I have seven points and I haven't missed a shot but Repectual misses the first shot of the game right there on an open 10 to 0 I don't know where I am right there but he gets a bad catch ends up missing that we get the ball right back 10 to 0 but I run right into him the ball's on the ground. Everybody's going all over the place, but I end up with it 10 to 0. Back to the ice. So I still haven't missed a shot as of right here. He's kind of playing me Molo, but I catch him playing high, and we get the easy blow by with the dunk. 12 to 0. Is this 6 8 going to get a one, get one stop on me? All right, I missed wide open. We did cook him right there, but we missed time to the rhythm shot once again. With my personal experience using Rhythm Shooter, I have never missed a rhythm shot where I was like, oh, I timed that perfect. Like, I can tell when I don't time it right. And that's what I like about Rhythm Shooting. You have more control over your shot than button. But look, we play great defense, forcing him to go out of bounds. 12 to zero, right back to the reverse dunk. 14 to zero. We still have not missed a shot this game. Well, actually, no, I'm tripping. We did miss that open three. So we have one missed shot this game. He's kind of playing me low. We go into the step back rhythm shot. And that time we actually make it instead of missing it. So now it's 17 to 0. Are these red plates about to get 21 owed? Levine cross to the standing dunk. 19 to 0. Yo, what's going on now? This 6 8 is not guarding your boy from deep rhythm shooter green. Get him out of here. We went 8 for 9. And that is a 57 game win streak but we go into the very next game and we're showing this full game as well because this was another competitive game against two red tier blacks so this time we're playing a 6-4 the 91 steel 92 prim 93 dunk and a high ball handle so pretty well-rounded build they got the 6-7 popper as well so he is 6-3 but he does have a lot of defense on his build, but on the other end, he does not have interior defense and he's shorter, but right away with that 92 prim, I have no adrenaline. I mean, that was crazy, but I do get by him because he is a lot smaller than me and we get the strength advantage right there, the size advantage to give us the easy standing dunk. We're going around. He's leaving me open rhythm. Shy, give me three, five, zero. Come on. You know, you got to step up on that. I ain't missing in 2K25. We a 60% three-point shooting. We cooking. Perpetual shooting the light pressure midi right there. Not a, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not mad at mid, those little fadeaway midis by those big men, especially if a high, higher midi. But that one was just a little contested right there. But look at my defense. I got that clamp, but we're leaving the center for no reason. So now it's five to three. It's okay though, because I trust in our defense. I feel like me and Repectual have pretty good defense. And look at, just as I say that, I get the lane steal. Repectual gets the dunk after I hand it off to him. And now we are back with the ball up seven to three. And if you don't think we really have that good defense, hey, you're gonna see later in this video, our defense is really gonna have to show out. That's for damn sure. But anyways, we get to the standing dunk once again. If you're six three, six two or smaller pulling up on me on the twos, I'm going to the basket. You best believe it. Now, if you leave me open for three, of course, I'm going to take it. But a lot of these small guards like to pressure me high. And then a lot of them like to go play. And then I'm going to the basket. But it's like, bro, you are taking away my three. You are way smaller than me with no defensive stats to guard a dunk. Of course, I'm going to get that dunk. I got an 89 drop there for a reason. Well, look at that, though. We pull back to the rhythm shot. Because once again, if you leave me open, I'm sparking it. I'm really just taking what the defense gives me at the end of the day. Repexel shoots a three right there. 
ends up missing just a bad shot I mean, a lot of the times he does get open off those catches on the inbound. But right there, it's just not one of those times. 17 to 3. We're back on defense. And by the way, I do have an 85 perimeter and a 76 agility. I feel like a lot of the time I do be playing good defense. But right there, I kind of just leave him wide open. He ends up making the shot. It's okay. You got to test some people sometimes. And right here, we're. And once again, I clamp him to a pass out. But for whatever reason, Repectual is really trying to 50 the center he's not trusting his shot even though he is knocked down right now i don't i feel like we shouldn't be 50 people if the other guys box like maybe to help on like an open drive but doesn't matter we end up getting the stop anyways little bounce pass so we don't throw a lane get the easy dunk they try to rotate there but honestly the center just doesn't get there early enough he doesn't really get in good possession so i just went up regardless 19 to 9 Kind of looking for a three here. End up just dotting Repectual in the corner. And that is an easy three. And now we are on a 55-game win streak. And guess what? Yes, three games in a row. We're showing a full game. We got another comp game right here. Now, this time, we are playing a good team right here. We're playing a Lark. Now, I'm pretty sure I could be mistaken. But I think my only stage loss this year is against him. I might be wrong on that. It might have been someone else. But I'm pretty sure it was him. So this is a big game right here. He's a good player. He also plays on that wager app that I was, you know, beating Tutak on in 2K24. Um, he gets picked up on there sometime. Bro, you see this nigga Peck Burley? He big as shit. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get my nigga Burley. Hey, double H locked. I ain't gonna lie. He locked. Nah. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. But as you can see, hey, they know I'm locked in. We on that way street. I gotta be locked in. Come on now. We using the rhythm shooter. We going crazy. But hey, Lark is playing some good defense this possession. Five to zero. I step back for the rhythm shot. End up mistiming it, unfortunately. Terrible reach, giving up a free three right there on my end. So now it's five to three and they have ball. Yeah, that reach is just bad. That's just giving him free takeover, a free shot. He stepped back for another three and that's green two great three pointers in a row and just like that they got the lead six to five i know he's a good shooter i know i can't give up the three no more especially after two in a row but i make him pick him up hopefully our center can get a lane right here doesn't get it i mean it kind of was a good angle but he already had reached prior but look at the tip pass making up for it wide over for three bang gets that three and we got our lead right back and we got the ball so we need to we need to value our possessions though because this could easily be a loss we're not trying to lose this early in the 100 game, even though we're kind of pretty late in here. Like, we're over halfway there. I try to go to the dunk meter, get the offensive rebound because he pulled me out back up to my center, and that's green again. That's two in a row from him. So, 11 to 6. Back on the ice, though. Zach Levine step back. Crossover back the other way with the Zach Levine step back. Lark still playing good defense. I got low, or got low stam. One adrenaline. So, I try to dot, or actually, I don't end up dotting. Okay, I thought I was about to dot him right there. Good thing I didn't. We take the two with no stamina. And look at Peck getting wide open off the decks. That's three in a row. He is coming up clutch. I hit the back door. He doesn't get the lane. I get the easy standing dunk. And we're getting a lot of free buckets off the inbound right now. And that's going to come up clutch for us. They're ending up fouling. They're getting frustrated. It's a frustration foul right there. 18 to 6. Now I go to the basket again, take our easy two. No point in forcing a three at 18. I know they're not trying to give up a three at 18 too. So I'm going to take my free two, 20 to six. Hey, 2K20 step back, or 2K20 behind the back, back to the Zach Levine step back, but we don't make the yellow contested rhythm. They get the ball. Lark driving to the basket, misses the dunk. Oh my God. I almost get the lane, but it goes out of bounds. I read that perfectly. Honestly, 2K should have given me that one. Anyway, six. Five, four, they're set her wide open in the quarter. Gets it to go 20 to nine. I mean, hey, this team is good enough to score 12, 13 straight points and beat us. So we do have to get a stop. They're set her open again in the corner, but he ends up missing that time. Thank God. We almost throw a lane steal right there. One bucket away. We got to close them out. Okay. There's no reason not to close them out right here. 20 to nine. Low stamp to adrenaline. We hit the back door. And a rare back door right there on the twos court gets us the win and officially puts us at a 60. Yes, 60 game win streak. And look at how long we're waiting for a game right there. This is when I really started to notice that the park was dying out. And at this point in my head, I'm already thinking, okay, at one point or another, 
I'm 100% gonna have to go live, but I wanted to get as high as a win streak as possible before going live. So I decided to stay off stream, continue grinding while watching the Bears and the Texans. I am a Bears fan. Yeah, Um, our offensive line is terrible. Okay, we don't have to talk about it. Anyways, 62 game win streak. And look at, I'm back to waiting for games forever. But look at what this kid said to say about my shooting. Dude, I feel like Double H has a Zen or something, bro. Nah, bro. He, he cool. He legit. He legit, bro. He legit, bro. Double H, bro. Double, Double H. H. Come Double. game chat. Double H. I'm not. I'm actually like. like I don't even know, bro. Hey, hearing the game chat after editing this video has been kind of crazy. But hey, shout out to Brody for defending me. I do not cheat on 2K. Never have. Never will. Okay? That's, that's crazy. Okay? But anyways. Zero to zero. We're going to the basket. Easy dunk. Two to zero right here. We are, this is another comp game right here. We're playing two red tiers. Perpetual with a great three to start us off. Five to zero right now. And this team is locked in. They want to end this win streak. But look at me. Oh my God. And I'm missing open. I, I got to time my shots in these comp games. Like missing open like that is just unacceptable. But anyways, they're using screens. They got the small guard. They hit the pick and pop. I'm kind of there. Not really. It was a wide open shot. So, yeah, I wasn't there. But he misses. So, it's okay. Perpetual. Oh, my God. No, we're locked in. This is a good start besides my open miss. But look at He's bumping me a lot to the point where I have no adrenaline. Perpetual pump fakes. What could have been maybe an open, not a wide open. But look at me. Shooting with no adrenaline. Low Sam with the right stick. Dude, I'm, I swear I'm not making that with the button. Once again, step back three. Overdose. You too little. You too little for rhythm shooting. Come on now. Hit him with the jab step. He's now he's frustrating fouling. Okay, so it's 14 to 0. They haven't put up a point. Oh my god, the Euro into the leg. Come on now. 16 0. We playing great right now. Going to the basket. Easy standing dunk. Hey, I was watching for the center of the drop. I was gonna dot the corner. But look at this. Both of them stand still at game, and I'm like, yo, what's going on here? And they both quit. Now, I don't, I heard this was a thing in 24. I don't know if it works in 25, but I think what they were doing was quitting or dashing to maybe save their record. That's crazy. They'll, them the type of dudes that be flexing their record. Like, I don't know. There's a lot of dudes that have good records, of course, that don't do that. But there's some people out there like them that really be flexing their record and they're out here losing and not getting the losses for it because they're dashing at game point. Anyways, look at this. We're playing guard twos again. He's pulling up with on center this time with a guard. He was playing with a post lock earlier, and this is another comp game. We got two red tiers. It's time to lock in. So this dude pulled up with a completely different build, completely different teammate as well as I think at least. And he's on a small guard playing with a popper, but I'm not going to lie, bro. They tried rotating that. This guard is too little, bro. I think he was like 6'2". Like, that's just not going to work, bro. Like, I'm easily going to be able to take advantage of that on a lot of possessions to the point where he's going to have to play me back eventually. And if you play me back, it's just going to be an easy, you know, three. But right there, I get a bad animation. Honestly, if I went up earlier, I literally would have had the lay. I don't know why I went up so late right there. That's just on me. So he gets open off the screen. Hits the three. So a good start for them on offense. We do have to get a stop. Once again, I'm rocking with 76 agility on this build. So not super fast laterally, but I'm I'm getting away with it a little bit. You know, I'm doing what I can do. He misses open seven to three. I'm just trying to force the dunk right there. And that's exactly what I can do. You're six two, low wingspan, 25 interior defense, probably no block as well. But we get to the step back rhythm shot. Hey, give me that green. 12 to 3. We're looking good right now. I haven't. Have I missed a three this game? Actually, yeah, I think I have. Dottie repex all the side. He misses wide open, though. It's okay, though. Because we're gonna play defense out here. One more stop. He gets open off the screen, though, and he misses wide open. So we trade wide open misses. And what is my teammate doing? Repexual. You gotta take the ball back, my boy. What is going on? That is a big mistake. I'm not going to lie. A mistake you really can't be making in competitive games on these long wing streaks. He gets open off the screen, and that time he's hitting. He was due for a green right there. 
to 12 to 6. I'm still battling through these screens. Perpetual is not really hedging too much, but it's okay. But he hedges right there on that play. But that's why he doesn't hedge too much because he might not get the rebound. He gets open in the corner, hits another three. So now I'm getting a little worried. 12 to 9. He's sparking up and he reset his algo with the button right there by missing and getting the O board. So that's a big advantage on twos right there. 12 to 9. We got to get one stop. One stop. And if we do get a stop, we have to value the possession as well. He gets wide open off the screen and he misses. That's huge. Am I going to make my open? Yes, I am. And that's really a big deal in these in a lot of these competitive games. It just comes a lot of it comes down to just making your open shots. Literally just comes down, down to that. And I'm going to make more opens than he is if I'm using rhythm shooting something that has a bigger green window and takes more skill. But we get to the open layup 20 to 9 game point. Step back, rhythm shot green get them out of here that's another big win and i went perfect four of four from three eight for eight a hundred percent shooting 20 points hey i mean i did that on the 610 i went for eight for nine against that six eight but if you're pulling up with a six two that's what you got to expect but anyways getting into a game right here we're playing a red tier right here 91 steel we end up beating him and now we're on a 60 game win streak so we're getting really close right now. We are, what, 30, just about 30, a little over 30 games away from this 100-game win streak. And at this point, it's serious. Like, I, I'm, I, I've am i been said a while ago in my head, like, okay, we're officially going for the 100-game win streak. Because if you guys remember, I said when I hopped on the court, I wasn't really looking to go for a big win streak. But look at the park. I mean, it's completely dead. There's no one by the threes. We're the only twos court running. It's looking bad out here. We're waiting for games. Somehow people, well, the people that are joining up are people that are requesting to join me on Xbox and I'm accepting them. Once again, not a lot of people are doing that. So this is the point exactly where I started my stream. 71 game win streak. I went live and honestly, I didn't even really mention that I was on the streak until uh, we started finishing some games that people were noticing because I wasn't really trying to make it a big deal, you know? Go for the 100 game, you know, it's so light. You feel me? Like, let it, let us cook, okay? But anyways, 23 to zero right there. 72 game win streak. And I was telling my chat, by the way, we get to the 63 point percentage. That's when I first got over it because my three point percentage was flying up on this win streak with using rhythm shooting. So definitely had to take a screech out of that. The win percent going up as well, of course, on this big win streak. Uh, miss open, get the O board, get the put back. And 73 game win streak. I was literally telling my chat. That's an, this is another reason I went live. It was to get games. So I was telling them, hey, if you want to pull up on this big win streak, let me know. Request the join, and I'll accept as many people as I can to join. And hopefully that gets us some games going here. And hopefully we can reach that 100 game win streak because this park has completely died out. Do the skill based matchmaking. No one's gonna get into the park by just loading up a park. They'd have to actually join me at this point. So. Getting into this game right here, we are playing a post lock again. 6-7 lock, 95 perimeter, 92 strength, 91 steel. And he is playing with a 7 foot 3 post score. So the first play, get to the basket, get an easy dunk, okay? Second play, he's already plucking me, but thankfully I pick it up so we don't got nothing to worry about. Step back, rhythm shooter over him. Oh my God. I don't care if you're taller than me. We still shooting over that. Get to the basket. Easy dunk. Hey, this lockdown has one job. And that's to get the ball to his post score. He just has to get a stop. His build is literally made to get a stop on the twos. That's what he built this build for. We get to the, uh, the crossover. Get the standing dunk. And right now, I have nine points shooting 100%. Okay? We have two adrenaline. He's bumping me a little bit. I hit Repectual. He's open. And that 7-3 post score definitely has no perimeter. Wide open shot right there. Hey, I'm going to have to take advantage of that. I know the 7-3 post score is obviously going to be the worst defender on the court by far. 12-0. He completely doubles me right there, leaving my center wide open. And thankfully, Repectual is knocking down his shots this game. 15-0. We're going to the basket. And that's just bad help defense. He jumps super early. I'm not expecting any good defense from the post score regardless. 17-0. But oh my god. I think... Wow, that was crazy. 
Thank God I got the steal back as Rapexel's got to chill on the inbound. We can't be too careless with the ball. We're up 17 to 0. Get a little careless, but it's okay. Postcore just decides to leave my center wide open, taking the chance on his third shot. We end up making it. And I'm like, hey, GG's. That's the second post lockdown lineup we have beat since we got to the 26 game win streak mark. And that is going to put us at a 75 game. So we are three fourths of the way there to this 100 game win streak. And now I'm live on stream. I'm getting games. So we don't have to worry about that too much. We should be getting games. I was streaming on Twitch. I was streaming on TikTok. I was streaming on YouTube. Make sure to follow my Twitch, by the way. If you're not following my Twitch, got to do so. But yeah, I was also buying jump shot boosts during the win streak. Right here, we're actually playing an AI. I think that's the only AI we played the whole streak that actually start the game. He was like an AI type of thing. But look at this. Now the park's dying out again. So I'm like, bro, y'all got to join up. I started telling my chat, yo, request to join, okay? Reminding them again. They ended up doing so for the people that do want to pull up. Because I don't know, maybe some people just didn't realize I was on the street. Because people see a big YouTuber on the street, they're going to want to pull up 100%. 78 game win streak right here. I start accepting some more people to join up. This dude's pulling up again. We're up 20 to 6. Perpetual with a Euro dunk right there. And we are inching towards the 80 game mark. This is where things are getting serious. If you guys remember in the beginning of the video, where I reminded you guys about my highest win streaks. This is getting intense. Now, look at what this dude said after losing to me in this game right here. I mean, bro, I literally, if y'all saw that on stream, I said on stream. I mean, if you couldn't, obviously, I can't put the word he said in the video. I put half of it, but you probably know that. That shit's just weird. I'm not going to lie, bro, like that. I don't know why people got to be weird on, on, on this game, bro. But that's that's the 2K community for you, bro. People are going to be toxic. People are going to be weird. Look at right there. Another 4 for 4 three-point game right there. And this streak continues. Remember, my highest two streak ever, I think, is 88 games. But anyways, look at what this dude said right here after losing. That will make a tempo shooting video, please. Hey, go check out the video. I, sh I already posted a tip video on how to shoot with rhythm shooting. So shout out to that dude for asking. But look at this game right here. We're playing this guy on the right again. He's picking up a different guard, though. This guard is averaging 15.6 points per game. He's a 92 ball nail, 91 steal, 94 three. He's 6 three. He's playing with a 6 seven popper. Okay. So it's zero to zero right now. Two red tiers. This is going to get intense. I miss a light pressure layup. End up kicking it out to my teammate who shoots the pull-up mid-range, basically a close shot, gets it to go, right? So, decent start to the game, right? Two to zero. I'm thinking I can just drive on this dude. He's reaching, gives me the easy dunk. You're reaching, I'm teaching. So, I'm thinking I could drive on him a lot. He's 6'3", right? Low interior. That's what I'm going to try to take advantage of. Right here, he actually gets a decent contest from behind, but once again, he's 6'3", he's behind me. I'm going to end up making that. So, six to zero. Now, you're going to see these, this team we're playing against isn't just any red tier team. Like, the guard that we're playing against is a very good shooter as I miss wide open and they don't get the rebound to my center. And we get the ball pretty early here. I don't get the lane there. Maybe reached a little early. I do have silver interceptor. But once again, this guard we're playing against was a very, very good shooter. So you're going to see that in the game player here. But look, we're playing great defense. He's not getting open, but then he kind of gets open off me getting stuck on the center. And he gets a three. So six to three makes his first shot. I'm trying to get off that screen. I have silver pick dodger, 76 agility, 85 perimeter, perpetual fouls right there. Honestly, a really good foul because I didn't really want us to get a switch right there, even though sometimes we're going to have to switch if these screens continue to hit like they're hitting and if he continues to make these threes off the screens right there. I get a stun animation. He kind of ankle breaks me, shoots the pull up midi and gets it to go. Kind of smart to shoot the midi after the three, especially in 2K25. Once again, hey, frustration foul right there. I'm trying to get any stop I can get six to five. He drives in terrible take. Thank God they didn't call anything there because that was just a bad IQ play. He definitely should have passed out his center. We literally double teamed him, but we get the stop going to the basket and I'm not getting a standing dunk on him for whatever reason. They kept giving me layups even right there when I was wide open and you can see this Dave will do is reaching a lot. He has a high steal and he's short. So that's going to be a lot of ways he gets stops, but look at that. He forces me into a bad layup animation. 
I don't get the animation I was looking for. Ends up costing us Repetual the smart foul right there as the center beat me across the court. Maybe I would have got the lane steal, but, you know, I, I, it's smarter for him to just foul, I guess. I'm not mad at it. Eight to five. We need a stop. We've already given up the ball twice. We only have eight points. Davo shoots off the screen. He misses. That was another contested shot by him. He should have passed to his center. His center was wide open once again. I go to the basket, and dude, he is getting a bunch of behind contest animations. That honestly, I wasn't seeing any small guard get on me this entire streak. I don't know. Maybe he did have interior upgrade, and I just didn't know about it. But hey, step back, rhythm shot. Y'all already know. We green in that 13 to 5. We're starting to get some points on the board. Starting to get the rhythm going. Step back three. Oh my God. And I, I miss right there, but we almost get a steal. We can get a stop, but he gets a free three pointer right there. Obviously, he's making that. And honestly, that's like the second free three we've given him in this game. Definitely not a good sign. 13 to 8. The center's not going to shoot the open midi right there. Giving it right back to his guard. And honestly, so far in this game, the center's not really looking to score at all. Not only is he not looking to score, the guard's not even looking to pass to him. Like, I don't know if they want the guard to just take every shot or what, but he hits him down low right here. Repectual jumps, gets good defense, but he gets the O board. And that center obviously just had to go up with that. They had nothing else to go with. And he's not shooting that wide open three. His guard's open though too, and he hits it. So at this point, I'm like, bro, like, do we just leave the center open? Do we just double at this point? Because he's taking two bad shots when we do double team him. That's when we've gotten our stops. And he's not, like, this center's not looking to score, even when he's wide open. But he is looking to score when he has a layup or dunk as he gets that right there. And that's just too free. We can't be giving up points like that on the inbound. But look at me! Getting the blitz steal. That's super clutch. Hit repectual, easy dunk. And just like that, we not only take the lead, but we get the ball back. We got to go. We got to score six straight right here. You see, they're getting a frustration foul. He has a high steal. He's trying to get any stop he can get. 15 to three. We need it. And look at that center. He is hugging my teammate right there. He's playing great defense. 15 to three. They're trusting Davo completely on the ISO. And I get my icons up and I miss a one open layup. Get the rebound. Pump fake. Go up immediately again and get it to go. Thank God he jumped out of bounds. Because that could have been bad. 17 to 13 now. Oh my God. On the ISO. Davo playing great defense. Two adrenaline. Low stam. Step back three. Oh my God. That is a clutch shot that we needed. 20 to 13. Game point. I'm going to the basket. And that's leg. Get him out of here. That's a huge win. 83 game win streak we needed that right there i had 18 points 62 percent that game for me not bad at all next game we're playing two gold tiers we end up beating them as well 18 to 5 right here snatch back rhythm shot give me three anyways we're going into our 12th full game that we're showing in this video because this is another competitive game right here so this 6-3 red tier is pulling up look at this build 96 steel 93 dunk 92 ball handle 91 speed with ball now he's basically a lock slasher that can shoot a little bit and it's 6-3 and i mean look at the first possession dude this dude was a hawk and just kind of annoying on the defensive end because he was so fast. He had such a high perimeter and he had steel plus he's 6'3". So he's already supposed to be moving fast. But we get open off the three, don't hit it. And now we give it up the ball right at 0-0, zero, zero, which is not what you want to do against two red plaques. And he hits an open three to start off their offense. And this is one of those points where we're at the point in the streak where... People are going to continue to pull up until they just win. Like, they don't want you to get to the 100. We do get, end up getting a stop. Repectual shoots a bad shot. We give it right back up, right? So, we're at zero points, and we've had the ball twice. This is not good, but he throws a crazy pass, and look at my lane. It don't get better defense than that. Oh, I'm hawking the lane. I mean, y'all probably thought my center was going to get the lane because he was in the lane, too. But I got it. I mean, that was crazy. Some of y'all might have to rewind that. That was a crazy defensive play. Ends up getting the ball back 5-3. to three, And those are the type of defensive plays that we need against these players. And especially if we want to get to that 100 games. Because it's not going to be easy. 
we're going to be playing a lot of sweats there's people pulling up to the stream seeing the win streak they don't want to see me get to 100 they want to end this win streak they want to be the person that can post a video drop a tiktok hey i just pulled up on double h's blah 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 win streak and we dropped him off you know what i'm saying they want to be that guy okay so eight to three we get into the dunk meter we're getting to the rhythm shot we're looking good now we're finally starting to get some points in bunches which is exactly what we were looking for all along and struggling to get to start this game because like i said earlier we had zero points after two full possessions right of giving up the ball 10 to 3 going to the job or to the zach levine cross light pressure layup still goes in he is 6 3 so i guess we get the advantage there on that play right there and he was always reaching at my Zach Levine step backs. Like every time I did that move, he would reach. So we get the easy dunk off of that one right there. Then I drive to the basket once again, get a standing dunk this time because he did reach. This dude was reaching a lot. And like I said, I've said this multiple times in this video. I don't blame dudes reaching with a high steal. You're going to do it. But sometimes it's going to cost you. Repectual misses open. I end up saving it. But that was not worth saving. He gets a wide open three free three points free momentum for them and now they got the ball 16 to 6 he gets to the dunk meter because once again he has a high driving dunk dude has a high driving dunk he has a high perimeter he has good stats gets to the lay and i don't like giving up layups and dunks on this court that's when it really gets bad you gotta make dudes shoot especially in 2k 25 16 to 10 he's stepping back looking around the screen and he's trying to get to that dunk again. Like you can really tell he's fiending to get there. The center doesn't shoot open, but he gets wide open and thankfully he misses, but we don't get the rebound. That is gonna cost us big time. They're trying to quick slip again, but he ends up getting to the same dunk meter animation where he just go, glides by me. And I don't even get a chance to contest or block it. It's working. I don't get that lane right there. I don't know how I didn't get that lane. I was right there. I guess silver interceptor isn't enough. He gets wide open for three and dude, this is getting worrying i mean i haven't missed a shot and it's 16 to 15 and they have ball still step back wide open three. Oh my god oh my god i dot repectual in the corner wide open three. Oh no oh no great foul because their center was wide open but repectual and i cannot be missing wide open catch and shoots right now i just can't we can't afford it 16 to 15. we have to switch right there he's not really confident in his center he tries to slip that and repectual with a crazy lane they've been throwing some bad passes we're both been taking advantage of it he gets wide open for the mid-range finally gets it to go that's what we needed 18 to 15 smart little midi i'm taking the possession slow we have to score here i'm gonna take my oh no that might be the first and only scary that i throw and it was not in a time that was needed he gets open for the midi that's knocked out 18 17 one stop we have to switch it with the big screen he's looking for a two drives to the basket i jump at him wide open three in the corner oh my god this is oh he fouls Yo, they have missed two wide open shots that could have won them the game. We go to the basket, easy dunk. Game point. Literally just need to score. I don't care if it's a three. I don't care if it's a two. Need to score the ball. He reaches off the step back again. Gets me a bump though. One adrenaline. Force the standing. Get it to go because he's behind me. And wow, what a game. 85 game win streak. We are officially 15 games away from this 100 game and hey there's there's some people there's we start to get a little crowd by the guy next spot but there's literally zero other courts running and look who's pulling up again Davo in this six seven popper once again he was shooting he's a he's a good shooter but he was missing some shots the last game he wants round two and he's gonna get it right here drive to the basket don't really have anything and honestly he was playing great defense on my drive especially for how short his build was you see we're low stam i hit repectual on the cut great first basket we kind of struggle right there to get a basket though go to the crossover easy you know dunk right there you see the center was trying to play the lane like i was gonna pass it no if i have my two 99 of the time i'm gonna take it you see the last game though i didn't take it that one time so that's that one percent but 
We get the easy lay. He is 6'3". He has low interior. So once again, we're going to take advantage of that. You got to take advantage of what bad stats the other opponents have. And that's what I'm going to do. He, he makes me pick up the ball, though. I have low adrenaline, you see. We only have two. I'm backdooring. I force a bad layup. And we give up the ball at 6-0. to zero. So their center. Look at him. He's wide open. And he's going into a post-up position to hand the ball to his guard. If you guys remember the last game, he was also not really looking to score. They weren't looking to pass to him even when we doubled the guard. I don't know if he just doesn't want to shoot. I don't know what it is, but that is a bad reach by my center, leaving him to get the open mid-range on the literal last second of that possession. We played 23 seconds of defense just for that to happen. I get my ankles broken. He misses, but my center's not down for the rebound. I have rebound chaser, but it's not enough. Gets a second chance of the three and gets it to go. So we're still up six to five, but I don't get that steal right there. We need to stop pretty soon here because this is a good team. They know what they're doing. Their center, once again, we're leaving him wide up. He finally shoots and he made it. Oh no, eight to six. Davo off the screen, easy midi. Once again, grains it. They are not missing right now, 10 to six. We're looking for a stop. I'm pressuring the three. They're hitting me with a screen. I'm still on that repetition with a good foul. Because that would have been a wide open assist for Davo right there. We're still playing great defense. He shoots the step back three. Oh, no. That's an open. That's an open. And he knocks it down. We're down 13 to six. We're down 15 to six. He just dunked that on my center. Oh, this is looking bad. This is looking bad. We are down 15 to six. I'm trying to play good defense. They keep handing it off. And I finally get a steal. Aeropectual for the easy dunk. That is a big stop. A much needed stop. 15 to 8. They try to rotate it. Miscommunication gives me an easy dunk. 15 to 10. We need to make this comeback. Snatch back three rhythm shot. Give me three. 15 to 13. This comeback is hitting right now. We almost have the lead. We cannot give up the ball anytime soon. Preferably not give up the ball for the rest of the game. Perpetual open for three. Misses. He misses an open three. We don't even have the lead yet. We're still down. They try to throw that. Wow. I don't get the lane. He gets an and one dunk. And now it's getting concerning. Like very concerning. 17 to 13. Perpetual jumps. He shoots the open three. 20 to 13. Game point. 85 game win streak is on the line who's gonna get a stop oh my god they tried to get this sneaky back door and Repectual gets the clutch lane steal i'm going to the basket i kick it out to him for an easy mid-range and just like that it's 20 to 15 but we still have a grueling seven points to get here because they're not gonna probably mess up on game point twice i go to the basket wow did I just sell our 85 game win streak? Oh my God, another steal. Our defense is coming up clutch. Hey, they say defense wins championships and that's exactly what might happen right here. 20 to 15, I'm out to the repectual on the pick and pop. Green, 20 to 18, so he greens the midi. Now he greens the three after missing a couple opens earlier in the game. I'm driving to the basket, leaves me with a wide open dunk because he greened a couple shots in a row. Now it is 20 to 20. The next point wins. This point's not going to be easy. Everybody's going to be second guessing whether it's on defense or offense. We need a clutch bucket right here. I break his ankles, but he fouls immediately. Honestly, a pretty smart foul. Resets it. Eight seconds on the shot clock. We need a bucket. I'm going to the basket. Out to Repectual. He shoots into that game. He's calling ball game for the 86 game win streak. I carried the first half of the points. My teammate carried the second half of the points, also getting multiple clutch stops. And that is the closest anybody has gotten to knocking off our win streak. And it is not even close. Wow. What a game that was. I mean, we were down 20 to 13. And we gave up the ball like twice. You see Davo dashboards after losing that game. And look at the next game, we're playing this 6-3 lock slash again. We end up blowing him out this time, though. These are two red tiers. 
We showed a full game against them already. We beat them again. Now we're at an 87 game, but we got another full game to play or show y'all. And it's the same team. Literally, this is their third time playing us, bro. Like I said earlier, we're at that point in the streak where people have no pride. They are going to keep playing me over and over. They want to end this streak. A perpetual starts us off bad right there, missing a wide open three on the left wing. Zero to zero. This team has very good offense. They have good defense as well. And they, they did pretty good against us the last time. They got to like 15 points. And once again, he keeps getting that like glide off animation where I just can't do anything about it with the dunk meter. So that puts them up two to zero. They dot their center in the corner. He misses and dude, a put back dunk. Are we serious right now? Off a miss too? Like, this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. Four to zero. We need a stop. He pump fakes. I'm playing great defense. He's trying to backdoor. We're there on that repectual jumps. He passes out of an open layup low key. They reset. He's going to go ahead and snatch three. What? A green light pressure? They are getting a lot of struggle buckets right now, and it's coming up clutch for them. I mean, that's a great shot, though. So it's not, and it is a struggle bucket, but like he's not getting wide open. But he misses the dunk meter right there. Probably would have been fine if he just, you know, buttoned it. I almost shot deep with the rhythm shot. Decided not to shoot that deep. Hit Repectual wide open again at the same spot. This time, hey, two for a dollar. Gets it to go. Seven to three. Back on the ice. So that's an ankle breaker. We got a man down. And we got a miss bucket too. But hey, we make up for it. Our team gets it right back. Crossover in the paint. Easy standing there. I don't know how I miss wide open. We needed to make that. I am usually make my shots off ankle breaker with rhythm shooting, but not on that play right there. This dude's playing great defense. He knows I'm looking for the drive, but I simply back out, shoot the rhythm, and it doesn't register as a rhythm, as you can see by the bottom left. Literally the only reason I miss. I don't know. That's It happens sometimes, but right there, that's not the time where we need that bug to happen. Snatches back into a three. Now they're up 10 to five. We need a stop soon. There's no more playing around. This is a good team. We cannot just keep giving up the ball with ease and not scoring. And he goes to the basket, tries to dunk up me again, misses another dunk meter. We're resetting here. We're being patient. We don't, we want to value our possessions. Hit perpetual on the pop, misses again. So once again, another offensive possession where we come up empty handed. We, we can't afford this. We can't afford this. The stakes are too high. The opponent is too good and they're getting back to the dunk. And now it's 12 to five. We're down seven points, basically in a similar situation we were against the last win against Davo. He goes to the basket, another easy dunk with the dunk meter. This dude is doing three sixties. He's doing it all right now, 14 to five. I get a frustration foul right there. We're down nine points. Things are not looking good. We haven't gotten a rhythm on offense. We're missing wide open catch and shoots. We're not getting consistent stops. And when we are getting stops, we're giving it right back. But right here, I'm trying to put the clamps up. In my head, I'm like, dude, I, I can't give up another Duncan layup. Like, that's too easy. We got to get a stop. Their center trying to dex out. He pump fakes two seconds, one second, shoots a fadeaway three. And thank God he did not make that. Perpetual with the late pass, but I get it late. I assumed I wasn't going to be open, but I actually was open. I probably should have shot that. Perpetual shoots that. And what are we doing? Another open miss, but was that a smart shot early in the shot clock? Probably not. And we had go once again, an empty possession on offense. At this point, we're begging to lose. We're literally begging to lose. I mean, we're giving them unlimited chances. And what is that? This dude just dunk meter right over my center. Put his nuts in his mouth. Pause. 16 to five shoots at three misses. We got a decent contest right there. Oh. Oh no, I ain't gonna lie. Repectual might be having his worst game of the streak. He's missing much bunch of opens. He's walking out of bounds. Dude, how many times are we gonna get a stop and instantly give it back up? They're center on the pop wide open. Misses. I get the rebound. Thank God for rebound chaser. Hey, Repectual, he's not gonna shoot the open shot after missing a lot of opens. He is due for a make, though. I ain't gonna lie. 16 to 5, though. This is our biggest deficit of the streak. It's not even close. Snatch back rhythm shot green. Can we get another comeback right here against two red tiers? 
I guess we better find out. 16 to 8, snatching into the drive. I'm down to two adrenaline. Low stand. We get our stand back. Reset the possession. Get the standing dunk. I don't care if he's helping. Perpetual is not shooting good right now. We're not going to immediately dot that, which may be another reason why he is double teaming. But right there, no double team. I'm going to take my easy two. We're going to need dunks if we're going to get this many points in a row. 100%. Hit Perpetual on the pop. Reset it back to him. Easy mid range. Oh, no. This man can't hit. Perpetual can't hit right now. He's been pretty good throughout the streak, but he can't hit right now. But their setter can't hit either. What is going on? 16 to 12. Need a bucket. Snatch. I'm wide open. Why am I second guessing? I'm second guessing right now. Repectual, another midi. Okay. We needed that. That was very much needed. 16 to 14. We're going to the basket. Can't be shooting that. He jumps. I back up for the rhythm three. Green. We have a lead, folks. Four more points. And we are out of here continuing the streak. Snatch into a red three. Oh, my God. What a board. What a board. I almost double greened it for the, the three, though. On the red. 17 to 16. Hit Repectual. I probably shouldn't have passed it to him. Oh, my God. Last second shot. The very last... No, I didn't. No, I didn't. What a shot. It literally the, the very last moment of that shot clock. I mean, I hold on to that ball for even 0.2 more seconds. And that's a shot clock violation. Hit Repectual on the mid-range jumper. Oh, my God. We got out of there with a win. Our third time beating them. Another comeback. Ooh, things are getting intense right now. Finally, we get a game against not two red tiers. It is against two gold tiers, but this dude was not happy about us winning this. No! Oh! Oh! Yo, people want to beat this streak bad right now. We're at 89 games. Hey, we just passed our highest win streak on the twos ever. Now we're at the 90 game win streak this is huge we need to keep winning we're at the 90 game we got people piling up by the got next spot literally the only court running in this park all right double h it's time to meet your maker shall i say God damn it! yo what was that dude cooking bro really thought he was gonna get the win not another dude that's not happy about the loss i'm telling you bro People want to beat this streak bad right now. Another blowout win between his legs. Get him out of here. Pack him up. 92 game win streak. But we're playing the post lock lineup again. This is the second time this post score specifically is pulling up. This time with a different lockdown. And he had some words to share to start this game on this big win streak. Yeah, uh, he was not uh, too foul to me. 7-3 uh, post score, different lockdown. Here he goes again in game chat. I'm taking this, I promise. So he literally promised that he is taking this win streak. We're going to hold him to that. Leaves my center wide open on the first play. That's a miss. Hey, it's it's a good start for him. Repectual just hasn't been shooting very good in recent comp games on this big win streak. Their lockdown makes the first three. It looks like switching lockdowns might have been a good idea after that first green. He's immediately backing down Repectual, not even trying to get bumped at all. He sees me sleeping in the corner. That's another green. This is not a good start, especially against a post-lock lineup. But I said earlier in the video that I said I don't think this lineup is good anymore. I don't. When you're guarding it correctly and you're going to see us try to abuse it, or use that uh, strategy later, but look at what he says in game chat right here after being up. This is your fault, Double H. Give me that bird. Give me that bird. Give me that. Now he's doing something I'd like to call front run talking. He's talking while he's up. Is he? Is he gonna win this game? Everybody gets in the comments. Is, is this dude gonna win this game after talking like that? Like these post scores, bro. They just think they're all that. 
Is it gonna bite him? Is it gonna bite him? Let's see when we get a stop. He talks shit at 11 to 0. Let's see when the karma comes in. Okay. We get a stop immediately. Okay. We get a full off possession here. And uh, we won the game. Yeah. Uh, that was immediate karma. They. 93 game win streak it is so that is the second time we have beaten that post score now we beat those dudes 94 game win streak and guess what this post lock is not done yet there's the 94 and they're pulling up again the same lockdown once again 99 prim 96 steel 91 strength 90 agility i mean dude this dude's job is literally to get a stop on me like his build is built to stop me he's leaving me wide open he's testing me and I miss. I don't know how I missed time that. I don't know. Maybe your boys just. I don't know, bro. But once again, back to back games against this lock post where we miss on the first shot. I'm literally sitting in the paint. Leave the lock wide open. He's making his first shot. They always make it their first shot, bro. But hey, it's 2K25. We're not going to let the post score abuse the post mechanics repeatedly without testing your lockdown in the corner. That is for damn sure, okay? So once again, backing down right here, three to zero, eight seconds on the shot clock. I'm trusting Repectual right here. Then I immediately go down. He gets the block and he forces him into a bad shot. We get the ball, wide open rhythm shot. Bang! We got it, okay? We're good. Three to three. Let's see what kind of defense they're gonna play here. Runs to the paint and dares me to shoot? Oh, you must not know. Oh, you must not know who you playing against. I'm I'm not one of the people complaining about shooting in 2K25. I'm here adapting. I'm using the new features. And I'm locked in. Snatch back. Leave me open. No, keep leaving me open. He got all that defense just to give up on defense after two losses against us. And not even attempt to play defense. Once again, leaving me wide open. That one I missed times. And I felt it too. I remember on stream being disappointed because i really wanted to green like six in a row on him but i couldn't we give up a free lay it's nine to five they don't have too many points we still have the lead so we're not in a terrible position but it's never a good feeling giving the ball to a post score he throws my center off of him this dude makes another corner three and i'm not even mad about him making that because we didn't have box out either way and i don't want to waste a miss on them getting an offensive rebound Right there, Repectual is fully pressing him. He gets a foul. Back on defense we go. Nine to eight. He's pressuring him just like I want him to. After we foul that below 14 seconds. This is the exact method I was talking about to stop these post scores. Give them as least time as possible to post you up. And right there, it works because he had to go up on that drop step with the time remaining. He literally had to. So whatever animation he got, he had to go up with. He's leaving Repectual wide open and thank God he made that 12 to 8 we need to keep scoring and look at how this lockdown is disrespecting me how do we freaking tell him are we serious right now you really thought you were about to post pull up with this post lock lineup fail a couple times and then start daring me to shoot now right here i shoot a little deep get a bad animation but repectual's a dog he's gonna dog out the 7-3 post score gonna give it back to me this lockdown's playing fake defense. I know I know he's going to eventually just not guard me. So I'm just waiting for that to happen. It happens right there. Give me three. Now it's 18 to eight. I mean, I can't believe these dudes really thought this was the method to win. Repectual sets me a screen right off of it. I shoot immediately. I mean, look at my confidence, bro. Get out of here. Get out of here. 18 points on the head. All three pointers. 95 game win streak. Guys, we are inching towards this 100 game win streak i mean we're talking we are just now four games away i just went seven for seven four for four i am completely locked in right now 96 game win streak there's a look at it this is looking absolutely insane and the event ended i was hoping it didn't kick us off the spot because it did do that in 2k21 current gen and it didn't back for round two back for round two so this dude who raged off losing to us is back for round two, I guess. Let's see what they got. Two to zero. We're off to a good start. Now, at this point in the stream, this is when it gets dangerous when you're on a streak. And what I mean by that is 
there's gonna be times where I get a little distracted. You know, I'm reading chat or I get into a conversation I'm having with the chat. And that's exactly what happened right here. Perpetual misses the open fade. And I'm kind of just an autopilot right here. Like if you asked me at the time when this game ended, what anything that happened in the game, really wouldn't be able to tell you what anything that happened in the first half of this game. Cause I was just on autopilot. I was talking to my chat, not really paying attention. You know, we played these guys a couple times. It was very easy games. So I wasn't taking this game very seriously. Right here, we're up seven to five. Things are looking pretty easy. You know, we gave up the ball a couple times, but you know, they only got five points. The guards playing me super high. I'm Dexon over here. Shoot the little rhythm midi. Get that to go. And we're honestly just getting open pretty easily. Hit Repectual. He misses. We give up the ball again, but we get it right back. I hit another rhythm shot. We're up 14 to five. It's looking like another easy win against this team. I snatch back. I make a yellow rhythm. Things are looking great. I haven't even missed a single three. Haven't missed a shot. We're up 20 to seven. Game point. It's looking easy, bro. But then he plucks me. It's a dunk. And now it's 20 to nine. Now scoring 13 in a row, it would be pretty hard for these guys. But hey, backdoor lob when I'm not paying attention. Smart. Midi off the inbound with rhythm shooting. Green. Goes back into the post. Rhythm shot off the post fade green it's 20 to 15 this dude runs around in a circle gets a dunk to go 20 to 17 no way we're about to lose to this team out of all teams right he's posting up another backdoor lob 20 to 19 i'm here looking at the scoreboard i'm like yo we gotta lock in so now i'm fully locked in i'm like dude they're, we're not gonna lose this win streak to this forces up a layup we get a side contest we have the ball i don't know how he didn't lose it right there i'm like yo chill 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 Let's take this slow. We need one basket. We've had a very easy time scoring on these guys. Let's not blow this. I have no adrenaline. Oh my God. We need something. I have no adrenaline. Low stam. This dude's bumping me. I hit repectual open mini pump fakes it. Oh, oh my God. Thank God. God damn it. Yo, I don't blame him, bro. He was so close, 97 game win streak. And we are applying this pop post and lock again. What is this, their fifth time? I've genuinely lost track. Not even kidding. I've actually lost track at this point. So it's zero to zero. He's actually guarding me now. Get the standing dunk off the ice. Okay, okay. So maybe they're playing defense. Now he's backing up a little bit though. I don't know what my player was doing right here. Going to the snatch, he's not really leaving me. So I'm like, okay, he's actually playing defense but i still know he wants to give me the three like he'd rather sh make me shoot anyways hit repectual on the pop wide open another time where he misses open on that first shot on the left wing two to zero and we're always giving up the ball so early against this post score which obviously is not what we want but look at him pressuring him after fouling under 14 i'm telling you bro this is the method right here foul under 14 pressure but I'm an idiot, bro. I don't know why I left the lock right there. I should have just trusted my teammate. Gave up a three right there. Back to the back down. I completely double team right here. They count that as an open. I mean, it was open. So five to two. We need to stop. Going back to the post up. He thinks he's going to dot me. I'm there, though. And that lock is just used to shooting off every catch. He's not used to getting the ball while he's covered. So he shoots it. Not open. Well, it is open, but not wide open. Perpetual gets the two for the dollar or two for a dollar shot right there. Now it's eight to five. Back on the ISO. The lock is playing super low. I'm like, dude, I'm pulling that. Who do you think you are? Well, you're not just going to leave me open and expect to win. I don't care. You could get away with that against other people on 2K25, but not against me. Post score trying to help. Not good enough. We're getting the layup. You got to help completely full or else I'm not I'm not going to pass out if you're not actually playing D, okay? That fake D ain't working on me. Snatch back, and I mistime it. But we got to 13 points, so that's pretty good. We only need eight more points to finish out this game. He's trying to clear the ball, 13 to 5. He's got 12 on the clock right now. Posting up our pectual drop step. It's a weird animation, and that's what we needed. We need to force those weird animations because those are going to be the misses that are needed. 13 to 5. They, didn't, they got the ball, and they didn't even score a single time. That is huge. Right here, 
Lockdown playing low. I'm pulling. I'm greening. There's no more playing around, y'all. We're too close to this 100 game to lose to this post lock. And for the first time, oh my God, for the first time, the post score played some kind of defense. His best defensive play, all old video. Ankle breaker. Green. I, we're, we're locked. We are locked. This dude has a 99, this 99, that. I don't care what you got. Give me them ankles, boy. 19 to 5 game point. Oh my God. Okay, we're giving them another chance, aren't we? Here we go. If they score 16 straight, then I don't know, bro. I leave the lock wide open. Any misses. Hey, he's leaving people open, but in reality, he's the one that should be left open. He can't hit it consistently. That's for sure. Snatch back into the rhythm over him. I missed right there. As I literally just said, you know, talked about shooting consistent, but it wasn't a wide open. It was an open, so can't really complain too much. Perpetual with the open midi. And just like that, We've beaten this post score like five times. 98 game win streak. This is it, y'all. This dude's back for round two. I mean, oh my God, what is going on? Three to zero right here. We got to lock in, boys. We got to lock in. This is a big game, bro. Ankle breaker. Oh my God. We here. My player getting all times to ankle breakers. He not trying to lose to this close to 100 games? Are you kidding me? Between his legs. Lay. What? Missing open layups? Okay, well, let's back it up. Let's back it up. Take your time now. You know, we only got two more games to go until we get this 100 game. Crossover jump. We lay it. 8-0. to zero. Back to the Zach Levine. Ooh, yes, sir. That's an easy green. 13-0. Currently cooking. We're up 20 to 6 right now. Game point for the 99 game win streak. Crossover, standing dunk. Get him out of here. Let's go ahead and transition to a live com for the last game. Lock in. If you're watching this YouTube video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I have no Gatorade left. It's been a while since I've had any Gatorade. I probably should have bought some. This team got to 19. This team got to 19 points on us. They are the closest. Actually, no. There was a team that got the 20 on us. But they are one of the closest teams. So we can't take it lightly. Come on. Easy dunk. Come on. All right, come on. Six to zero. 100 game win streak on the line. This dude's playing me super high. He thought I was shooting that. They're helping. I'm kicking out. Good shot, Peck. Way to hit the first one. Come on. Let's go. This dude's playing me super high, bro. We're going to take our twos. I just knew that was green. Come on, bro. I'm locked in. God damn. This is for the 100 game. We're not playing around. Give me them ankles. Give me them. Bro, I went for that dunk meter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, bro. I should have shot it, bro. I should have shot it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good, though. He's sleeping. Hit me. What a terrible, what terrible hell defense. Great pass. Dead ass. Next time we get the ball, we're I swear to God, I'm not even. Yeah, just hit me. Just hit me. Get this shit out. Get this shit out of the way. 100 game win streak. Let's go. Come on. We're not even, we're not even going for the three, bro. The dude was literally hugging my three, bro. He, he's literally listening to this stream. 100 game win streak. Come on, chat. 100. One zero zero triple digits first 100 first 100 game win streak on 2k25 on the 2v2 court and we're gonna hop off like it never happened that's our body 100 game win streak 100 game win streak 100 game win streak we don't care we off honey game we hop on we streak up we dip out. We get done. We get business done with. We are now shooting 60.3% from three. Our three point percentage is skyrocketing. This is the build that we went on a hundred game with 435 and 13. Bro, I'm so sick too, bro. This is my flu game streak, chat. I'm so sick. That's why I was like, no, I'm definitely not playing until we lose. I'm also 93.8% to starter three hey if you watch this video all the way through do me a huge favor drop a like hit that subscribe button 1 million subscribers on the way we have tons of great content 
on the way for y'all all year for 2k25 once again here are my stats 60 percent three point percentage 97 win percent right now and my teammate stat after stats after this streak 58 three point percentage 90.9 win percent and here is one last look at that beautiful 100 game win streak if you are still watching at this point in the video make sure to go ahead comment down below the word loyal so i know who actually is real and stayed through to the end of the video we are currently taking over 2k25 and we ain't stopping anytime soon it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all peace